Layer 2 rollups are helping to scale Ethereum and are one of the largest narratives in cryptocurrency in 2022. In this video, I'll show you how you can build a DeFi portfolio to generate passive income from the growth of ETH Layer 2s. If you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to like this video and subscribe. And before I go any further, I want to remind you that nothing I say in this video is suggesting that you should or should not invest in any particular cryptocurrencies. The point of this video is to show you how to construct a portfolio, not to recommend a specific portfolio. With that being said, let's get into it. First, let's establish some clear criteria for which types of tokens we'll want to add to our portfolio. First, these tokens must be driving the growth of Ethereum Layer 2s already. In general, a good way to invest in the growth of Layer 1s or Layer 2s in crypto is to find which applications are driving that growth and then invest in those applications. So that's the first criteria. Second criteria, we want tokens that accrue value directly from the growth of their protocols. We're not looking for useless governance tokens here. We want tokens where when the users increase, when the fees increase, when the revenue increases for a protocol, those tokens benefit. And so this could mean that they receive fees or it could mean that they accrue value in some other creative way. Third criteria, these tokens must all offer yield without locking. That yield could be offered through staking, could be offered through liquidity pools, could be offered through something else creative. However, we don't want to have to lock tokens for a year, two, three years, because in crypto, there's a good chance when you lock something for four years, it's not going to be worth very much when it finally unlocks. So we want yield without having to lock. And those are the criteria that we'll be keeping in mind as we search for tokens to add to our portfolio. One caveat that I want to call out is that although the sort of portfolio I'm going to talk about in this video could be effective for earning passive income from the growth of Ethereum Layer 2s, this is really not intended to be an entire portfolio. This isn't really going to include blue chip cryptos like Ethereum, Bitcoin. It's not going to include layer one tokens and a well-rounded portfolio would have all of these things. This is rather a subset of a total portfolio that would be designed to accrue passive income from layer twos. And that's important to keep in mind when considering how much money a person might put into a portfolio like this. All right, next, let's go over to our handy tool, DeFi Llama, one of the best websites for DeFi statistics. And here we're going to start looking for DeFi protocols that might fit well in this portfolio. I'm starting off in the chain section. And then if I just click this button right here, I can filter to rollups. And we can see that pretty clearly the top two rollups right now are Arbitrum and Optimism. Metis is interesting as well, but for this video, I'll focus on Arbitrum and Optimism. So what I'll do now is I'll just go through each of these and I want to see which protocols are driving the growth of these platforms. So we can see that in the past seven days, Arbitrum TVL is up around 16%, Optimism is up around 38%. So which protocols are driving that growth? Because those are the protocols that people are actually bridging to the platform to use. We'll start with Optimism here. The one that jumps out at, start, at the start is GMX. So GMX, I've talked about at length, it's the largest protocol on Arbitrum by far. You can see it's more than twice as big as the next largest one. It's a decentralized leveraged trading platform. And so GMX is definitely one that we're going to want to check out to get some exposure to Arbitrum. So first we'll check out GMX. And a good place to start when investigating any protocol is of course that protocol's website. In GMX I've already done my due diligence on. I've covered it on this channel a number of times. So I'm not going to go through all the details. But here just at a glance you can see some stats around the trading volume on this platform, around the number of users and so on, as well as some other benefits that they like to call out for themselves. But what we're interested in here is the earn section. So if we go to the earn section, then we can see that GMX offers staking for 22.96% APR and 15.5% of that is escrow GMX. So that is inflationary rewards that are being escrowed. And then 7.46% of that is ETH. And so that is Ethereum fees that users are paying on GMX, which then get distributed to people who are staking GMX. And so that's what we're looking for that fulfills our criteria because as Arbitrum grows and more people trade on GMX, those fees will go up and that value will be distributed to GMX stakers as passive income. So this is the sort of thing we're looking for. And this APR is decent, especially for single sided staking on a token like this. 
And this APR will actually go up over time because of GMX's system with multiplier points where the longer you've staked GMX for, the more your APR goes up. So this is definitely one that I want to add to the portfolio. If we go back over here to the Arbitrum breakdown on DeFi Llama, then we can see there's a lot of other protocols that have been growing. I mean, the whole market is up right now. And, and so there's a lot of different things you could check out. One thing you might be looking at is you might say, well, SushiSwap is up 47% on Arbitrum. The problem with investing in something like that is that SushiSwap is still mainly on other chains. So its growth isn't really going to be linked to the growth of Arbitrum. One protocol that really jumped out as having strong growth over the past week is Dopex and its accompanying ecosystem protocol, Jones Dow. Dopex TVL was up almost 71% in the past week and Jones Dow was up 40%. So I think it's fair to say that these protocols are basically leading the pack or near the front of the pack in terms of the Arbitrum ecosystem. So if we jump over to the Dopex website, we can see that it's a decentralized options exchange. And that's interesting because that indicates that possibly these complex financial products and on-chain trading solutions might be gaining esteem on Arbitrum. And perhaps that's Arbitrum's niche, because remember the other protocol that's helping to lead the growth on Arbitrum is a decentralized perpetual exchange, GMX. So that's kind of an interesting trend and potentially something that is worth monitoring. But what we really want for this portfolio is we want to figure out how can we earn passive income from the growth of these protocols. And so Dopex does have a token. The token is DPX. And I will warn you that this token is up quite a bit in the past week. So again, the point of this video wasn't to suggest a specific portfolio. It's about the thought process of how you would construct that portfolio. So they have DPX. And if you dig into the Dopex documents, then you can see that DPX does in fact earn protocol fees. There's only one problem. That DPX has to be locked as VDPX. And to get that full amount of VDPX, it has to be locked for four years. And like I mentioned at the start, one of our criteria is that we do not want to have to lock tokens for yield so that the APR on this of 38% is pretty nice. However, we're not going to want to lock for four years. So let's see if there's anywhere else that we can find yield on DPX. If you stick on the Dopex app, then you can see that there is a DPX WETH farm, which is 26% APR. So that could be a decent option right there because you're getting some exposure to ETH as well. You're getting exposure to DPX. It's half the pool and you're earning 26% APR. However, let's see if we can find anywhere else with a higher APR that gives more pure exposure to DPX because ETH is great. But remember, this is just going to be a small portion of your portfolio. Your main portfolio with your blue chip cryptos would not necessarily include this allocation that we're making right now. One other protocol that exists on Arbitrum as part of the Dopex ecosystem is called Jones Dow. And Jones Dow has various autopilot option strategies. And one of the tokens that it allows you to use an option strategy on is DPX. So you can bring your DPX over here and earn 15.56% APY. And so that yield is not quite as good as the other one. But now we're getting to a point where this yield is no longer requiring us to lock our tokens. But that's not all. If you go over to the staking section here, then you can take those JDPX tokens that you receive for putting your DPX in a vault. So you put DPX in a vault, you receive JDPX, and then you can pair those with DPX on liquidity. And that combined pool pays out around 18.8% APR. And if you do the math where you have the 15.56% on that JDPX, then you have the 18.82% on the JDPX plus on the DPX, then basically your yield comes out to around 28% in total. So it's still slightly lower than what we would have gotten on the VDPX over here, but now we're not having to lock at all. And there is another protocol called Plutus Dow that allows you to earn higher yields on DPX as well. However, they don't allow Americans to use it and I don't like to lie. So I'm going to stay away from that one. And so I would say that's going to be our portfolio on Arbitrum. We're going to have a portion of the portfolio in GMX staked, and then we're going to have a portion of the portfolio over here on Jones Dow as JDPX paired with DPX. And that's going to give us exposure to protocol fees, both from GMX and from 
and from DOPEX. And the important thing to note is that even though the protocol fees aren't going directly to this pool, as the protocol fees for DOPEX increase, that'll still translate to a higher value from DPX. Next, let's go back to our list of rollups and look at some protocols on Optimism. Optimism has actually been growing faster than Arbitrum over the past week and over the past month. So if we go and look at which protocols are on Optimism, then we can see there are quite a few as well. So let's see what's driving growth of the ecosystem. In this one, we don't actually even have to scroll that far down because the top two jumped out to me as being the things that are really driving most people to this ecosystem. First is Synthetics. Synthetics has been around for a long time, but they transitioned to Optimism now, and they are really tying themselves into the Optimism ecosystem. And they've grown 37% TVL in the past week. Another one that is really jumping out is Velodrome. Velodrome is a fork of Solidly, which was a very innovative DEX that launched on Phantom earlier this year. And Velodrome is actually up almost 200% in TVL in the past week, and it's up 485% in TVL in the past month. So whenever you see these things, and especially if you see that the tokens have pumped as well, definitely have to be careful. However, the Velo market cap is still not that high, so I am comfortable potentially getting some exposure to this token. And I think that the high yields from this DEX seem to really be a thing that's driving a lot of people to bridge over to optimism. I'm getting a, sort of flashbacks to when a lot of people were bridging to Avalanche last summer to farm on Trader Joe. So this one really, really jumped out to me. So let's start by looking at synthetics and what sorts of yields we can earn on that. Synthetics, if you're not familiar, is a protocol for generating synthetic assets, including synthetic cryptos and the swapping between those synthetic cryptos allows you to have very low sw slippage swaps and the fees from those swaps accrue to SNX stakers. So the token does accrue protocol fees directly, which is exactly what we're looking for. And if we look at staking, we can see that it earns around 66% right now. And that's going to be a combination of partially from SNX inflation and partially from SUSD, which is the stablecoin associated with synthetics. So this checks our criteria so far. And this yield is really good. You know, this is even better than GMX, especially to earn this yield on a top 100 asset that's been around for years and already has the vast majority of its tokens in circulation. I'm, I'm very happy with this yield. I'm going to definitely make a sizable allocation of SNX in this layer two passive income portfolio. And I'll give you the exact allocations towards the end of the video. Next up, we are going to want to look at the number two protocol on optimism, and that is Velodrome. So this one has been growing a lot, and this is probably the riskiest protocol that I'm going to talk about in this video today. But when I see this sort of growth and I want to get exposure to the ecosystem, this is something that interests me personally. If we go over to the Velodrome website, we can see that they market themselves as the trading and liquidity marketplace on optimism. And like I mentioned before, this is a fork of solidly, which means that when its tokens are staked, they are basically used to create time weighted NFTs. And those NFTs will then earn protocol fees directly and also will control governance for the platform. So just right there, we can see that it does in fact accrue fees to the Velo token. And because if you're locking those tokens as NFTs and then receiving fees, then the tokens essentially can be redeemed for fees. However, we do not want to lock these ourselves. Remember that one of our criteria is we are not locking tokens in this portfolio. So let's see if there's any other places we can earn yield on these Velo tokens. And if we go over to pools here and we sort by APR, then we can see that there are actually some very nice pools that include Velo. And by the way, this Velo SNX pool you might be saying, well, that's a great deal because it includes both these tokens we're looking for. The problem with that is that the even though the APR is pretty decent at 128%, the total amount of tokens in this pool is actually quite low. SNX is only a couple dollars. So this, this looks like it has maybe ten dollars to $20,000 worth of tokens in the entire pool. And that's not going to be something that someone could go into with large size. But this Velo USDC pool has several million dollars in it, and it's still earning 220% APR. So you know that is definitely in the range of APR that we're interested in, in terms of this portfolio. And it has exposure to Velo. Risk is moderated a bit by the fact that it has USDC as well, which is all right. 
And so I would say that this is going to be the final piece in our portfolio, which would round out the portfolio with GMX, Dopex, Synthetics, and Velodrome. So we have exposure to four fast growing protocols on Ethereum layer twos, protocols that are in fact driving the growth on Arbitrum and Optimism in that accrue protocol fees directly from people using these applications on layer twos and that don't require any locking, which is exactly what we want for our passive income portfolio. So let's see now at the end of this exactly how much income this portfolio would be generating. I did some calculations before making this video and we can see here that when you put in these numbers, if we had a thousand dollar portfolio, then this would be generating around $2 per day and around $63 per month in passive income, which is pretty nice because you're getting exposure to these assets that will benefit from the growth of the layer twos. And also that's generating income in the meantime, which can be reinvested into potentially other projects on the layer twos. Uh, one thing that was interesting to me about this is that even though I use similar criteria for both platforms, the yields on Optimism are way higher than on Arbitrum right now. And part of my suspicion is that that could be part of the reason why Optimism TVL has been growing so much faster than Arbitrum over the past month. Arbitrum, in fact, has, has been growing not that fast compared to the market, although it's still one of my favorite layer twos. And so my thought is people usually go where they can make money. And if people can make more money with Optimism DeFi, then naturally a lot of people will gravitate towards Optimism DeFi. But for my purposes with this portfolio, I'd still like to play both layer two ecosystems. And so that's the DeFi portfolio that I would build to take advantage of the Ethereum layer two boom and earn passive income. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.